Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. Now, this puzzle on screen is not the puzzle I'm doing today. This is, um, this is in fact, from the Kraken Hunt. Let's get Kraken on Patreon, which is into its second day now. And uh, unsurprisingly, we've had some answers. Very well done to those of you who have achieved it already. Uh, six puzzles, some of them tricky, some of them easy. Um, and we do recommend that you join us on Patreon, have a go at the hunt, you will enjoy it, and uh, you will be able to say that you got Kraken um, if you solve it. So do give it a try, please. Um, that is on Patreon now. Um, there's always lots of good content on Patreon, but there's always lots of good content in our apps as well. So do seek them out on the links under the video as well, along with our merchandise. Sven Sudoku pad and um, what have you. So do have a look at those. Now, the reason this is not the puzzle I'm doing today is because Simon has sent me a link and that's rather terrifying because whenever Simon sends me something to open on screen, then it's either just gonna be terrifying looking or eh, you never know, sometimes ridiculously odd in some way. Um, or just really strange and but often very difficult and very terrifying. So nonetheless, I am girding my loins, metaphorically. I am um, about to give it a try and see what we've got. And I will sort of try and describe what I see when I see what I see, which is not yet. So let's see if this works. I'm going to have to make this video work, whatever happens, however hard it is, we'll see. Um, but I am going to try it now and uh, yeah, input the link and let's see what we get. Friendly Wheel by Top Autism. I don't know Top Autism. Look at that. Okay, that is really interesting as a grid. There, there, are th there are three things I find interesting about this grid. One is that it is symmetrical, and it is so symmetrical. This, the second thing is that it's completely symmetrical. It is mirror symmetrical across an axis in the middle, across an axis down the middle, across diagonal axes, two of them. That's four degrees of symmetry. It is also rotationally symmetrical through 180 degrees and indeed through 90 degrees. I mean, I don't know how many ways this is symmetrical, but it's maximal. This is weird. Now, the third thing, so it's empty as well. There are no given digits, but the rule set, now we've seen empty grids before. Um, Joe Darwo sent us a couple in the past, and um, we've solved one on screen. But the rule set had to be very long to achieve uniqueness. This puzzle, this puzzle, it doesn't just have a simple rule set. It's even simpler than, than the way the rules appear on screen. Because the second half of the rule set is explaining that this is box number one. It's just explaining the numbering system of the boxes that we actually use every day. This is box number two, this is box number three, this is number four, etc. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. The same applies to positions within the box. This is position one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And all the second half of the rules is doing is making sure that you know that in case you didn't. Um, but I expect most of you did. So all the rules are saying is this. Normal Sudoku rules apply. We're gonna put one to nine in every row, column, and box, as with 99% of the puzzles I do on the channel, and maybe 96% of the ones Simon does. Now, here comes the rule that we have to operate with. A purple cell's digit must match one of the following. It's row, it's column, it's box, or its position within that box. So this is like a friendly cell, only it's even more options for friendship. I don't know why these have been called friendly cells, but if a cell has its row, column, or box number in it, then that is defined for some purposes as a friendly cell. Now this cell, for instance, is in row one, column four, box two, 
and position one within the box. So I reckon that could be a one, two or a four. That's how friendly sales work. And apparently this is all we need to complete this grid. Now, the really weird thing about this is how does symmetry not give this puzzle at least two different solutions? Because with most rule sets, the uh, symmetry of marking and no given digits is just not enough. But here apparently it is. This is fascinating. Now I have done a puzzle with friendly cells before and I think I've done it on the channel where there was an aspect to the, to the nature of the friendly cells that meant that it was solvable even in fairly similar circumstances, but it wasn't as symmetrical as this. This, of course, is called friendly wheel, and the, the whole grid is clear. Like, it's a very good depiction of a wheel. It's even artistic into the bargain. Okay, I'm hoping that it's not absolutely rock hard as a puzzle as well. Um, and I think, but I think it's a perfectly adequate reason for Simon to have sent it to me to open on screen to just blow my mind with the the symmetry and the emptiness and the simpleness of the rule set. Um, and if that's the case, it's a brilliant discovery, effectively, by Top Autism. And that's very unfair. What was it I, uh, Edison said about um, genius? That it was 1% uh, inspiration and 99% perspiration. And that is very true. This is... Um, we often talk about discoveries on, of, of Sudoku grids on the channel, but they're much more like hard work by the constructor to, to make them work. And, you know, you wouldn't just try this, this, this uh, wheel shape randomly to see if this puzzle worked. Top Autism has done a lot of thinking about this, if this is going to solve uniquely, as we obviously have to believe it will. Right. Enough waffle about the background. Um, and I wish I knew who Top Autism was or something about them. I, I don't. But I do know that I'm very impressed with what I see already. And I'm going to now try and solve the puzzle. Let's get cracking. Um, well, this is a five, isn't it? This is in... Yeah, I should say that the normal friendly cells that we I've understood before are row, column or box. And now we're adding position within that box. And actually, I think maybe that was part of the rule set of the puzzle I did before that disambiguated. But I can do this digit. This is a five because this is in row five, in column five, in box five and in position five within the box. So all four candidates to make that friendly are five. So that must be a five. Which, which just fits in with the, with the Simon hypothesis that all absolutely great puzzles with a degree of symmetry end up with a five in the middle. This one has started with a five in the middle. So is that a three? It's in row three, it's in column three. Oh no, but it's in position nine and box one. Okay. Well, we worked out this was one, two or four when I was going through the rules. Let's just see what happens. This is in one, two, five. Oh, and position two again. This is in, hang on, what was the two? Box two. This will have one more candidate. This is in row one, column six, box two, and position three. Yeah. I don't know. This may not be the way to do the puzzle. Um... Okay, let's just keep going for a few cells and see what happens. Box one, row two, column three, position six. Ugh. Box, row two, column six, box three, position four. I don't like having four candidates for these cells. Let's try this. Row two, column, th or row three, column two. Box one, position eight. This one only had three when I did it a moment ago. Row three and column three, box one, position nine. I don't know. I mean, I'm, I don't know how to solve this, so I'm going to keep going on this track. Row three, column five. Ah, 
Oh, OK. Yes, that can't be a 5, of course. We're in column 5 now. That might help a little. It knocks out 5 as a possibility. So let's see if I can get these. I don't want to make a mistake with... Oh, that is only 3 or 7, because it's position 7 and column 7. It's row 3 and box 3. 3, 8... There, that's only got two cells. So I bet these are a bit more limited on, on, a row, on a symmetrical basis. So this is box seven, row two, column, row seven, column two, position two. This is row seven, column three, position three, column three. This is row seven. Yeah, it's what I find quite entertaining here, sorry, box seven, row eight, column three, position six. What I find entertaining is my total inability to predict which cells have more or few candidates. Um, I'm hopeless at this, it seems. So row seven, column five, box eight, position two. Row seven, column seven, box nine, position one. Position two in row seven, box nine, but that's column eight, position Four in box nine, row eight, column seven. This is I. Oh, is it, if this is going to be useless, it's a depressing waste of time. But I, I don't know. We'll see. I, it's very hard to predict until we've got most of the cells filled, and that's partly because I am terrible at predicting what's going to matter here. And I really feel that. I'm sorry. You know, I'm sorry for you. Oh, that was. You see that. That has four candidates, but that only has two, partly because five got knocked out. OK, that's why there's a discrepancy of more than one between two cells side by side, which felt very weird. No, this can't. Oh, it can be right. It is right. OK, row four, column one, box four, position one, limited. Row four, column four, box five. Oh, these are all in box five, of course. Yes. In fact, almost every cell I still have left to fill in has five taken out of one of its possibilities. Position one. Oh, that's a one for pair. That's the kind of thing we want. That's going to help. Right, row four, and I can't use four again. Column six. I can't use box five, but it's position three. This is column nine, box six, position three. Oh, I see, I'm still terrible at predicting. I thought that one four pair was going to give me a definite digit. Absolutely didn't. Row five, column one, position four, box four. Another one four pair. Maybe that's going to help. <sighs> position six, column three, row five, box four. But I'm not going to put four as a candidate because of that one four pair. Box six, column seven, position four. Row five, box, or oh, column nine, position five, box six, position six. Let's come down here, position nine in column nine, box six, row six. Ah, we've got a digit after that central five. That becomes a three because of this six, nine pair. That was, I think, three, six, or nine. That becomes a six now. Let's knock out the candidates carefully. Now, look, eight, nine pair. So that can't be eight, and that can't be eight or nine. Let's keep going with these cells. Oh, this is row six, column six, box five, position nine. That's, ah, and that deals with this eight, nine that we've just established. Right, let's pencil mark these remaining things. Row six, can't be that. Box five, column four, position seven. Yeah, yeah, OK, I see the four, seven pair. I'm just going to mark this up. Four, p box four, position seven, column one, row six. OK, we're all marked up now. That four, seven pair makes this a one. That sorts out the four, one pair over here. Um, six, nine pair sees that. One is looking up to the top. Oh, and there's this, still this four, seven pair looking up to the top as well. So suddenly that's box two. All the purple cells are done. Oh, and look, this is flowing on. This is flowing on. Come on. Um, this, right, there's lots of candidates to knock out. Seven sees that. That's become a four. 
Neither can be seven, and that can't be four. Um, right, that can't be four either. I mean, these pencil markings have to be enough to do this. Oh, look, two seven pair now. So that's a three, that's a six. We get seven, four in the central box, seven here. Look at that, these central three columns of digits, they're done. Seven, this is not three. Two, seven. Look at that eight, nine pair that's popped out of nowhere. We get a one there. This nine, six is done. This is still, oh no, 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 that can't be three or six. So there's the matching eight, nine and one, two pairs. That's a nine. So there is a weird symmetry even about the numbers. And yet it's going to disambiguate into a puzzle which only has one solution. Oh look, that eight looks across, does the nine, does the eight. And now we're left. Somehow, with the stuff we've done, we can't decode those digits fully. Isn't this the strangest puzzle? I mean, I love it, but it's weird. This is a naked single. It sees 18529 in the column, 746 in the row. I was kind of looking at column five and I've spotted that. So that's a three. This looks like another naked single. It must be a seven. Oh, then I can't do the, oops, the remaining cells in the column, four and six pair. This is now a two and eight pair. I know the order, thanks to both the top and bottom of the grid. That must be three. That's a seven. One, seven, three, six. This is a nine, eight pair. This is a two, five pair. That's finally going to sort out my one, two in box one. Still haven't got this purple cell done, which, again, strikes me as frankly pretty freaky eight and then i'm left with a two five pair here um seven has to go there in column three that's a four column seven may not be so easy because of the uncertainty actually this one is a five or a six so the only place for three in the column is there but i can't actually disambiguate the other digits that's strange as well. We get a one here. I don't know, if, if you don't understand why I'm amazed by this puzzle, then my reactions will have seemed during this video very odd. But I just want to say, it is, I, I've tried to explain why I'm amazed by this puzzle. I think it's absolutely phenomenal for exactly the reasons that I know Simon sent me it. Look at that, look how everything just works. It's not even, I mean, it's obviously every deduction is, is trivial once you spot it, but it's not like a puzzle that would be described as just easy or mild in the, in the Times newspaper, for instance, now. There's still a little bit of crunch to it, which is fantastic, given the constraints on this puzzle and the, the symmetry. I just don't understand how we've, been able to witness this. It is, as Simon once rather beautifully remarked, like the universe is singing to us. Now I get the last purple digit. It's taken ages, all sorts of other Sudoku to get there. Six, five, four, eight, three. Um, these can't have a six, so they're a two, five pair. That's a six. This is not a six. We can place six in box nine. Then the remaining digits in this column are nine and four. Six in the box must go there. Five and eight sort out. Five and four. Uh, yes, this five and two are done. That'll do the other five and two in box four. And here we are. Here we are in position to acclaim, well, a masterpiece. I want to call it a masterpiece. It's a phenomenal discovery. It is. It is a phenomenal discovery. And as I tried to say, with the Einstein quote, when you get discoveries like this, they're not just luck. They are 99% blood, sweat and tears. I am incredibly impressed, Top Autism. That is really interesting. And it disambiguated smoothly. There was no symmetry concern. It's part of the rule set, I think, associated with friendly cells that you do get this possibility of total disambiguation without a symmetry constraint. 
Ah, it's marvellous. I love that this exists. I love that I've had the chance to open it, be amazed by it, try it and solve it on the channel. I love that it's not that hard. It's, it's very manageable, a little bit laborious at the beginning in a way, just marking up the friendly sales. Maybe if I'd been Simon or just generally cleverer, I would have managed to go about it in a way that my brain could have appreciated where there were that one four pair, for instance, where there were instant pairs after getting the five in the middle. Um, I would have felt a little better about my solving ability then. But as it is, I'm just delighted. I, I hope I'm conveying that. It's been, it's been a pleasure to bring this to you. Thank you, Top Autism. Not a difficult puzzle. I might even be back with genuinely approachable Sudoku tomorrow. So uh, might not be that hard a ride for me over this end of the weekend. But there we go. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you again soon on the channel. Bye for now.